Vaginal bleeding and spotting during pregnancy are common. Up to half of all pregnant women have some bleeding or spotting during their pregnancy. Bleeding and spotting in pregnancy don't always mean there's a problem, but they can be a sign of miscarriage or other serious complications. In this video, we talk about what you can do if you have bleeding or spotting during pregnancy. So Francesca, I wanted to ask you about um, vaginal spotting or bleeding during pregnancy. Okay. It, it turns out it's really common. A lot of women experience it. Did you have any spotting or bleeding early in pregnancy? Early in pregnancy, I did have a day where I woke up with some spotting and I was it made me scared. I used a panty liner okay. um, and then I called my provider to let her know that I was experiencing some spotting. She wanted to know if it was bleeding or or just the color of the spotting and then she had me come in for an appointment. Okay. Spotting would be sort of darker blood and just a small amount just a amount that would be on a panty liner, not even soaking a whole pad, mm -hmm. versus vaginal bleeding would be more like bright red blood and actually enough flow that it would be soaking pads. So when you went in, what did she do? She uh, examined me and she confirmed that everything was okay. So the things that can contribute to spotting and bleeding early in pregnancy would be um, Intercourse, sometimes if you have intercourse, right after that there can be some spotting or bleeding. Infections can contribute to spotting or bleeding. Um, sometimes it's a sign of implantation, so that's very early, right after the pregnancy has been conceived. Other things that could be are somewhat more serious, like an ectopic pregnancy. An ectopic pregnancy is when the pregnancy doesn't actually implant in the uterus, mm -hmm. it's implanted in the tube or outside of the uterus. And while it's a very rare complication, it's actually very serious, so we want to make sure not to miss that medical complication. Other things that are concerning would be that this is the beginning of a miscarriage. And sometimes the way a miscarriage starts, in fact almost all the time, is with some spotting and bleeding. And then there's another actual kind of complication called a molar pregnancy, which is when the pregnancy is in the uterus but it basically overgrows. It's a developing fetus that grows too much that can be associated with spotting and bleeding in pregnancy. An evaluation with an ultrasound can often show if you have either an an ectopic pregnancy or a molar pregnancy, or reassurance that the pregnancy is going well. As you start thinking into the third trimester, mm -hmm. there can be some changes prior to actually labor, which mm -hmm. is these strong uterine contractions. There are some complications that can be associated with heavy vaginal bleeding, and those would be situations like placenta previa, when your placenta is actually over your cervix. So as your cervix starts to open, it pulls on the placenta, and that can contribute to heavy bleeding. When I say heavy bleeding, that's the bright red bleeding that soaks a pad in an hour and continues. It's mm -hmm. not letting up, it's going on strong, and that's something to talk to your doctor about right away. Call your healthcare provider right away or go to the emergency room if you have heavy bleeding, bleeding with pain or cramping, dizziness and bleeding, or pain in your belly or pelvis. At 33, 34, 35 weeks, if you feel some contractions, a lot of times they'll come and go, but if they come and they stay, mm -hmm. and if they're associated with bleeding or spotting, that's something to talk to your provider about and see if it's preterm labor. And if it is, what can be done about it? Certainly in the third trimester when you're getting close to delivery, keeping in close touch with your provider is really important. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes they'll tell you, oh, this doesn't sound like labor, you're good. But it's better to touch base and, you know, have a conversation as opposed to be feeling, you know, being home alone or feeling concerned or worried. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, call talk about it, see where things are, and make a plan. Okay. Remember, vaginal bleeding and spotting during pregnancy are common. Bleeding doesn't always mean there's a problem, but it can be a sign of miscarriage or another serious complication. Call your healthcare provider if you have any bleeding or spotting, even if it stops. For more information, you can visit marchofdimes.com.